Hello everybody, this is Descent into Avernus and this is Team Bravo. So when we left our people last time, we had successfully convinced uh, Duke Van Thamper... Convinced? I mean, we yeah. kind of Charmed? Charmed? negotiated with force. Uh, we we were, um, friend. Just a little pushy about yeah. what was important. It was Together good. we collaborated and got the best possible outcome for all mm. parties. Yeah. Mediated. I don't we know, she gave up all of her power and you walked and away And that was the best outcome for Char everyone. <laughs> Char charmingly petulant? Charmingly yeah. petulant, maybe, yes. Well, okay. Should just be thankful we didn't kill her. <laughs> I think uh, she may be feeling that. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, so she has, has agreed to sort of go back up into her mansion and sort of stop being the bad person that she is. Um, <laughs> we believe her. <laughs> as we'll far as we know. <laughs> but um, I, I don't believe you've done anything with her now. So do you, um, what do you want to do to ensure that she she stays on the straight and narrow? Or are we going to take her out of her word? Well, and if she discovers that our bluff about having all her children wasn't in fact true. Yes. Mm. I mean, is she, someone... She's not likely to discover that, is she? I mean, if you I'm, I'm give her... Well, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be a long, long gone. But maybe this will be a good opportunity for us to explore the mansion area, too, mm. if we kind of... Yeah, I have blue skin. I, I blend into any crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we can explore down here. Because we, we basically came and got our robes, bought yeah. the spiky demon and found this secret... Uh, Yes. Chapel. Brave. You are three. So you are three rooms in. We were Lots like, of other don't places. Don't follow the cool. obvious route. Go into this tiny chapel. Oh look, <laughs> the big bag. Oh, it was, it was Lucky the... us. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I have no idea what we could do to ensure that she keeps her word in this instance. I mean, do you want to pull out cricket and just like, mm -hmm. hey, we, hey, we will be watching. We can, but we we recorded. I've recorded parts oh, of her yeah. confession. confession. Yeah, we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Do we want to play back the, the confession? No, we don't want her to. to know that not yet until she maybe when she acts up and be like, by the way, this is something you said earlier, and then we can just like push the button. Mm -hmm. Or do we want to use that as a you can't yeah. go back on your word because your word, oh here's one of them. Oh, I wonder what happens. else we've got on you. Yeah. 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 Well, we've also got her son's. Um, confession too about the family, so I think it's pretty good. Do you want to play the son's confession? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Give us something that we've got to say, we've got lots more. That's it. Oh. We've turned into a legal team. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> negotiating. Law. We're, we're, and negotiating, law. we're negotiating in That's a kind of extorted way, which... Oh, you're right, yes. Ma Madam law and order, law and order. Exhibit one. <laughs> and I feel like we have like an appraisal business as like a side hustle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Do we want to... Do we want to that, that might. Yeah, but what? Keep, yeah, keep okay. Her, so her. you're not gonna you're not gonna tie her up, tie her up or yeah, put her in a box. Yeah, I was thinking that we should or... probably tie her up. I mean, we could do that, but like we're just gonna tie her up and leave her in the. But I mean, is she gonna? Or... So when we start tying her up, is she gonna start fighting us? But yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be the worst outcome. We can put her to sleep first. I, got, I like the resolution of us just like, hey, don't be bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're this way now. But we're right. watching. Remember, yeah, 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 yeah. no badness. <laughs> light, light, tap on the wrist. Go on, go, on, go play. Um, yeah, I'm not really certain. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not thinking that the, the, the bond of I certainly don't really... trust her word, no. Right, mm. okay. I mean, you know, she is in cohorts with demons. True. Well, then she's good at having legal contracts and holding them. Yes. <laughs> she's a wrong, she's she's liable. Liable. When, Only when you do the, the work of writing the terms down. Oh, do we get the quill out? Uh, yeah. Do do so. Right. Does anyone have a book on demonology? Yeah. Like, how do you write a contract with a demon? Um, I'd like to do a quick plug here because um, my friend Ben who runs Sirenscape has just given us, given, unlocked a whole bunch of Descent into a Verna sound set. <gasps> and there is a sound set specifically for under the villa. Ooh. There's like a sound set for in the villa, and there's another sound set for in Ooh. under the villa. Right. So, so we are. Um, oh, so you want us, so if we say, hey, let's ignore the, the dungeon and go upstairs, you'll be like, well, I've got this whole. <laughs> no, I've, I've got the other one as no, well. I want to keep exploring the dungeon. Yeah. I'm and curious I, I to hear, I like a dungeon. I'm curious to hear what the stable music is like. Um, yeah. Yeah. There, there is an actual uh, set of music for when you're specifically fighting the barbed devil, oh, oh. which we oh, did oh, last fantastic. session. So without that specific set of music, mm -hmm. yeah. with, with, without that, yes, we didn't. Right. Yes, Go back. So, so Ben did say that some of these sounds may be broken, or um, oh, you know, they're... there might be pieces missing. So if if people out there do notice that there are oh, sounds, they're that bad. 
They are that beta, yes. <laughs> These have not been released to the public edge. yet. At all. Oh, yeah. 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 first. Right, well, we better do the things. That's weird. I go where the next sound set is. <laughs> <laughs> um, the exit to this room is there is a secret door to the north, which you came through. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and a secret door to the south, which um, you, you've found as, as you search the room. So uh, we're tying her up. Do we tie her up and come back to her? And then go upstairs with her. I think it's good even if we just bind her hands and then tell her to store. We accompany. She accompanies us through the dungeon. Oh, you yeah, take it. Take her. Oh, we take, okay, okay, we okay, take her. Take yeah. us with. And then if we get, if someone has like a coat or something, we just put it over her so it looks like her hands are fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. You boss, hang me that silk rope. Yes. Only silk for her. Only silk. <laughs> her. 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 We don't want to offend. How many, how many threads is this silken? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. She's a duke. Let's tie her up. Cool. Um, okay. So you tie, you bind her hands. Yes. Underneath the cloak. Yes. And then we put one of the red cloaks on her, I guess. Which means one of us will be with her. Is there a whole wall? There's a whole wall of them, I think. Yeah. yeah. So we'll just more. like, we'll just yeah, we'll, we'll one. take one off the pig. Yeah. All right. I run back, grab cloak, mm -hmm. come back, cloak. Okay. Um, you find a barbed devil all the way. Quickly, music! Cue music! Here we go, here's the barbed devil. Jeez. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. Nice. So, uh, okay. That's the sound of you running that's back. That's the sound the of me running back. Oh. That's, that's grabbing the hood off the, off yeah. the pig. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> and looking at the course. Okay, so you're you're taking her with you? Yep. Yep. We're taking Do we wanna do we wanna bind her hands behind her so it looks like she's just walking that's, along that's, with her hands? That's what that's we're gonna do. Hands behind. But then they've got the top. over the top so they can't mm -hmm. see. Cool. Yeah. Looks and like it. a cultist. Hopefully nice, she'll be nice. come along peacefully. Alright. Okay. She looks like a very large cultist. She's a powerfully built woman. Do we Gag her, what about like verbal spells? Okay. I shall put a picture of her in front of us here. Because, um, yeah, she's, she's. Oh, yeah, she is. She's posing. And, and she, um, I don't know if you remember this from last time, but she built her um, empire um, being a sewer uh, operator. She, she, she was. A traitor of church. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, was a, um, she went down and fixed the sewers, and that was her first job as a child in Baldur's Gate. Oh, right, right, Jesus. Right, right. Yeah, so that's so why she's, she's got a self made be... woman. Yeah, or oh, totally. <sighs> Survived all of her three husbands. I bet she killed a couple of them. I like the, the way that you phrased that. It sounded like she was a smuggler from a young age, but no, she was a plumber from she a young age. She was a yeah. plumber from a young age. Yes, yes. She, did the, she did the jobs hey, other people who, refused who, to do and made money. If you control the sewers, you know. That's right. That's, that's information. Yeah. People, people will have sewers. <laughs> Everyone uses it. And also, it's basically a set of tunnels under the city. It is. Like, <laughs> you can get up to some mischief. So, so, so us, are us. we just going to choose a room or should we ask her which where, where well, we should go? Well, I think we should go south. I don't let's really go through, through the go secret door to the south. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's All right. do that. You go through the secret door of the uh, south. May I suggest that somebody is like standing behind her, holding the rope, and maybe making sure she's not fleeing or something. Maybe somebody strong and tough and big and imposing. And somebody on that side of the room. <laughs> well, One of us. Strong. Mm. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Oh, I can. We're I can tiny. Do it. We're I'll adorable. Do it. And I will tiny. guard. You'll be in charge of the. I definitely will roll the highest on a strength contest, so oh, I yeah. will. I will guard the prisoner. Very well. So she's got, I guess, there's some rope that's coming from her wrists that I might be holding onto that maybe discreetly. Fair so enough. If she tries to run or anything, I can yank her. All right. You step out into, uh, the, the, go through the southern secret door, and there is a corridor of, um, a corridor which kind of doubles as a sewer, you know, so that it slopes down into the middle, and there is an open sewer running through the the middle of the room. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of those fountains we went to. <laughs> the bathhouse? <laughs> the bathhouse. Yeah, that's <laughs> Under the bathhouse, okay. yes. Um, it's sort of a, an, an analogy of Baldur's Gate, that it looks all sort of beautiful and wow on top, and then just underneath the crust there's... Grand crust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it goes east and it goes west. Mm -hmm. And I have activated the sewer sound set. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Um... Um, Ace or West? Dun dun dun, West. Done. West. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> to the West! You, um, you enter the, the West and it 
Um, the first junction that you come to, it, there's north and a door to the south. Um, towards the north, there is no sewer. It's just a standard cabin, uh, st standard um, corridor. So the door to the south is taking us back the way we came? No, door to, door to the south... We went west and then, then the we south. We went south, then west, okay. then south. Oh, so we're going yeah, away. We're getting north and south. Back to the way we came. Yes. Right. Yeah. So let's go south. South, door to the yeah, south. Yeah, sounds good. Door to the south. Check the traps and. Yeah. Go carefully. <laughs> let's just walk her in first. Put her in first. <laughs> yeah. Stand her in front of the doorway. Um, so the door, hey. the door is locked. Okay. I ask her if she has the key. It says around my neck. Okay. This. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that was easy. We, we brought a master key with us. <laughs> so smart. She gives the master key. Uh, yeah, that's All right. right. I will reach around her neck and grab the key. You, uh, you reach around her neck and grab the key, and um, there is a number of keys on her neck. She. Uh, two. There is two keys. <laughs> and that number is two. That one takes one. That one takes one. That one takes one. That number is two. <laughs> um, and yes. Try both. You try both. I nod at her and say, Warden. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the second one is a bit loud. Apologies. The, keys, the, the key, key is loud. loud. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of that singing tavern. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like reliving oh, a whole adventure. The song of El Oh. Um, she says, she says, before you open that door, I would suggest that the person on the other side of it lies. Okay. So we're about to deal with a liar. Is that what you're saying? Aha, but we know that he, no, we, they know he, that we they know, know that. But then do they know that we know no, that they know. Do they don't have a kind of truth? Or any truth? Yeah. Right, truth stuff? okay. Um, you hear the oh, door wait, click oh, no. as you turn the key in it. All right. Oh, I might. Um, I'm a warlock. I don't have to prep anything. I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> right, okay. You open the door? I do. This room contains four wooden tables with two small wooden coffers atop each one. Hanging on the opposite wall door is a beautiful golden shield. Standing in front of the shield is an old man awesome. in plain garments, carrying a lit candlestick. As he turns to face the door, you see that his shadow on the far wall doesn't match his form, but appears to be the shadow of a pudgy, horned fiend with small wings. Very interesting. He says, right. I do not wish to be disturbed. Please leave. Well, I'm in first. You are. <sighs> You're dressed in the robes? Yes. Uh, and she's directed Wait a minute. He wishes to be disturbed. Let's stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wants to see Sarah and have a talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please bother me. <laughs> Rearrange my things. We've been reliably informed that you lie, so therefore <laughs> everything you say we will take to mean the opposite, as we all fall in. I've never lied in my life. Ah! <laughs> you have confirmed That's our belief. Yes. <laughs> this is going swimmingly. <laughs> Alright, what do you say? What is your name? Idiot. I am... Idiot. I am well, <laughs> idiot. No. Is, is he telling the truth? <laughs> I've... I've made an agreement with Lady Van, Van Thamper that I am not to be disturbed. I don't have time for you cultist idiots. Would you like to say that to her face? <laughs> well, well, yes, I would. <laughs> I shall... <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Um, she goes, um, you, you push Lady uh, Duke Van Thamper into the room, and uh, she says, Fabius, <laughs> these people are here for the shield, and I suggest you give it to them. Yes. Hard yes. seconded. And no funny business. Is there any, is there any, um, wink, wink, nod, nod, you know what I mean? You don't notice it. Notice it? Okay. What does she say when, what does he, he say says when that. she says the shield? He, he says no. No, I shall, I, I shall, I shall not. That's a yes then. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Thank you, up sir. my bag. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I, 
you want to stride forward or should I stride forward for your shield? I'm, well, I'm happy to, well, if someone needs to hold on to this thing. You're holding on to her, right. Yeah. I'll stride forward towards the shield. I, uh, no, no, you, you cannot. It is, it is a, 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 a wonderful um, weapon that we are going to use to defend against the horde that's coming. What, what is that? The horde of demons. This is, this is an incredibly powerful magical item. I, I, I do not permit you to touch it. Hmm. How are you going to Those were all lies. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm not a weapon. <laughs> I'm trying to do the mess on that one. Yeah, it's not a weapon. There's no horde of demons going. <laughs> and it's not a very it's powerful magical weapon. definitely not wonderful. I can do yeah. identify on it. But it'll take a few fun mice first while I study it. Um, at this point, uh, Rhea pushes mm. past all of you. Mm-hmm. And grabs Thavius by the neck pushes him up against one of these tables, slams him down onto it and says, yeah, where sure. were you when the city burned? She makes right. a good point. <laughs> and he says, I, oh yeah, please, please don't hurt me, please. Uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was out of the city. And she goes, where were you? Mm. And he says, I, I was, I, I was um, halfway to to Baldur's Gate when I heard what had happened. I, I was, I was not, I was not in the city. Why did you abandon Elshwell? I, I did not, I was on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. No, a diplomatic mission to Baldur's Gate. I, I was just merely moving from one place to the other. But you knew this was coming. No, no, I had no idea that the light would disappear and an ultra would be taken. Insight check. Is that okay? Yes. Mm-hmm. Fancy. Twelve. Um, he gets a twelve. You don't. I don't notice. Don't anything. notice anything. Yes, Can you I can't do mine. Go for it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rolled a twelve. So. You believe him. <laughs> um, so. I'm still doing the maths on his line. <laughs> which says he was in such a city. <laughs> um, this is kind of weird. What's the um, opposite of halfway? Yeah, 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 yeah. He went the full way. <laughs> yeah, he was either there <laughs> or, or he was here. Oh, he's at a quantum super state. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I get. Ah. Um, Raya <laughs> is... <Schrodinger's> liar. <laughs> <laughs> um, Raya is... is... Raya's angry with the man, not yeah. the shadow. Yes, with Thavius. So yeah. we think that the man is the one saying these things, but he's possessed by the demon, or the demon is him, or he is. Hmm? We don't, we don't know. <coughs> Could you hold on to this prison for me? Right, yeah. <laughs> so, so Raya oh, kind of... Uh, strength, 10? Uh, uh, yeah. Anyone? We'll no? Okay. <laughs> it's okay, I'll hop out if you need it. Raya kind of <laughs> picks him up and says, and, and brushes him down and says, very well. I believe you. But I think that shield is is something that we need to examine a bit further. Mm. I stride said, forward and grab the shield. <laughs> he, he, he tries to inject him. Push past him. Push past him. <laughs> it's not a particularly difficult thing to do. Um, he what is his strength? Oh it's twelve, it's, it's a little bit above over. Eighteen. <laughs> he oh, um, ineffectively <laughs> kind of does that and um, uh, he definitely is is a little bit uh, nervous when you take it off the wall. And he says, please be careful with it. You don't know what you do. Would you like to tell us what it does? It, it is, I believe, an angel has been, um, is, it is a conduit to heaven. It's a conduit to an Can angel I speaking use to my, you. Okay, I don't think divine sense technically works this way. <laughs> but no. I could, could no, I use divine know. sense? Well, usually yeah. it tells you the location of celestials and fiends, but sometimes yeah. I have GMs be like, it kind of has a mm. celestial glow to it, like it's recently been touched by one. Right. So <laughs> I'm going to try to use my divine sense. It also will help us in this general situation, which basically says, detect good and evil until the end of your next turn. Where it can ping, basically, I can ping four times each long rest. Um, anything affected by the Hallow spell or known the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. So it will probably only be in this room. Yep. But can I use my divine sense to have a look at the shield and also the various people in the room to get a sense of anyone being celestial or a fiend or undead of any kind? Um, the shield is definitely of celestial origin. Okay. Um, it's 
the motif on the front of the shield is is kind of a gr of a grimacing um, uh, demonic kind of you know it's it's disturbing to sort of look at uh, oh. uh, for a for an extended period of time. It has cow scowling eyes and and fanged teeth. Um, but it is of definitely of celestial origin. Do I recognize mm -hmm. the embellishments at all? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. so um, if this is supposed to help, how is it used to help? I I, I am I am studying it now, and I will I will I need more time. I, I'm. Please leave what, me alone with my. What wife. have you found so far? <laughs> well, um, it is a definitely a conduit. I, I've been able to speak to the. Um, the angel on the other side, and uh, he has been giving me information about what we are. Do you have the name of this angel? Be wrong. Um, yes, it is Gargoth. Can I? Do I get the sense that he's lying? Um, give me another insight check. About this, like that seems like a really specific piece of information. Mm. Sixteen. Um, yes, you haven't heard of Gargoth. Specifically, mm -hmm. but he doesn't seem to be lying at all. Okay. And as an angel, what has Gagath been helping you to do about all of this? He has been giving me information about the um, about the 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 nature of the thing that took Eltruel, mm -hmm. and uh, and how to uh, prevent it from happening again. Um, also, I am maybe trying to figure out a way of using this knowledge to help save the town. Right. Which town? This town? Eltra. Eltra. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is not lost. No. It still mm -hmm. exists. It still exists. How can you be certain? The, um, the shield has provided me with a vision. It sits chained above the river Styx in the Nine Hells. Eltra. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's a mighty big chain. Mm. Mm. I'll take the shield. <laughs> <laughs> he says, no, no, please, please. We, I'm so close. Um, I'm not sure I really trust you, though. Could you give me some reasons why I might trust that you are telling the truth in this matter and are here, in fact, to protect this city? Um, Rhea comes over to you and she says, I vouch for this man. He has been a loyal uh, defender of our town and... Despite the fact that he was not there uh, to to defend in its demise, he appears to be willing to help um, retrieve it. Okay. I, I grab I grab the candle that he was holding and hold it in front of him so that he casts a shadow. Yep. And go. And what about him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you talking to Ram? <laughs> yeah, I'm pointing at the shadow. I'm talking to Ram. Um, can you please give me a charisma intimidation? Uh, intimidate. Yeah, probably do. Probably intimidation. That's a good. Uh, oh, nice 20. work. Mm. Uh, go charisma. Twenty. Twenty. The blood drains from Rhea's face, and she goes over and sort of touches the shadow, and looks back at Thavius, mm -hmm. and says, mm -hmm. "What is this?" <laughs> And that I say, which one of you is idiot? <laughs> <laughs> and and he says, look, the the, the there, there's there's look the, the the most important thing is the work. I must complete the work. Um, I think I want to involve the duke now. Uh, duke, can you vouch for him? Do you know anything of this creature and his ways? He. Duke Van Thamper sort of draws herself up and says he came to us as a refugee and I gave him solace. And why is it that he has been requested to be left alone with this device? Do you know what his, what he is attempting to do here? Well, he, he's attempting, he said he was working uh, with the, the heavenly creatures on the other side of the shield to save Baldur's Gate. And, this and you fellow? gave him license to do this, and gave him sanctuary in which to do this. Is that yes? And this doesn't go against what <laughs> <Yes>. your ultimate <laughs> aim is. Sorry. And this doesn't go against what your ultimate aim is. Mm -hmm. Boom. My yeah. ultimate aim is to become the uh, the high duke. I mm -hmm. I just played her recording. <laughs> 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 um, she. 
She strides forward and attempts to knock it out of your hand. Like, ah, 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 <laughs> with your feet. You're holding up to her chest. You're like, you're going to hold it down. Yeah, 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 too right far down. <laughs> um, no, she... I would interject that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Um, and she sells her hands tight. So she does. Yeah. She... Um, yes, she looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> Um, Would you like to try that again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fabius is useful in many, uh, many ways. Mm. Not the least of which his ability to, um, to exploit the powers beyond. Well, also my divine sense doesn't say anything about his shadow, so I can assume it's not a fiend or... Um... Or undead. Oh, your divine sense. I, didn't, I thought you were focusing it on the. Well, it just says it just anything is, within sixty feet. Yeah. Oh. Um, no, in that case, I think mm. yes, yeah, you would you would notice that he that he is of demonic origin or <laughs> or in league with a demon. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm giving you guys the non signal signal. Yeah, they got it. Yeah. Just <laughs> like the just looking at Re- you all like received. Yeah, I'll give you the non-response response. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah. Um, well, I, I'm. Rhea, as much as you might trust this man, I feel that he has been compromised. Mm. He seem, it seems to me that he is in league with some demons and perhaps the loss of Etua has sent him down a pa- darker path mm. than you have known. And how would someone in league with a demon be stopping the demons? Well, he might have felt he needed that power to communicate with the angels. Perhaps mm. his intents are pure, but he is messing with things he does not understand. Yeah. Yes, yes, I saved El Truel. I brought the city light. I, I did, uh, and, and she just puts her hand over his mouth and says, All right. So now we have two prisoners. It's um, getting a little unwieldy. Fabius, we're, we're just looking like a pilgrimage. <laughs> <laughs> Fabius. How close were you to being finished with what you were doing with the shield? I, I don't know. It is not an exact science. Okay. I, I, I just wish to spend more time with the shield. Okay, well that's good. Okay. Are there books and stuff around? Um, no, there's just these, these eight coffers on the four tables. Mm-hmm. I started opening them all up. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess Plenty we... of money yeah, in all of them. A little yeah. bit more of silver. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, the... Okay. Turn on a couple, a couple of them. Duke Van Thamper says, this is, this is all of the wealth that I have managed to um, assemble in all of my years, all of my, my work. Seriously, you put up one spot? Yeah. <laughs> you are not as devious oh, as you seem. Get the bag. <laughs> it's all here, I swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look in any of the other rooms. <laughs> are, we, um, are we emptying your coffers into our bag? Is that going to yeah. fill our bag oh, with capacity? Dear. She says, if you, if you please leave, leave me things to... To help run the city, I, I will be. You have taken my children away from me. You must guarantee your compliance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell you what, we'll take the money, put it in escrow, and if you act up, <laughs> you get an allowance. <laughs> get more legal ease by the minute. Yeah. Yeah. This actually probably is a more useful technique. We're gonna take all your money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we We're... will give you money for as long as you are continuing yeah. to no longer. You get a stipend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're taking all your children for... All your children and money. <laughs> this, this wasn't the deal. This was not the deal. Well, we don't trust you, sir. We have altered the deal. <laughs> Pray that I do not alter it any further. <laughs> the second Star Wars quote. Anyway. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, she looks very angry. How much money do we have? Yeah. In, like, how much money is there? Four here? coppers mm-hmm. worth of... Well, we need to leave her What's something your capacity now. And also, I don't actually want to leave her angry right now. Well, if, if I can have an ancient history quote, and I'm quoting Nero here, so it's not a good thing. Oh, wow. Like, okay. If you take something away from someone mm. and give it back to them, they'll be more grateful for it. Yes, that's what I'm saying. We need to go, we need to magnanimously mm. be like, well, we will give you at least some of your money yes. right now. We will take it off her, make her angry, and then give it back to her, and she'll be great. Well, we, can keep, we can leave her enough money to run the city, but anything above that will take away. In escrow. Is there any way we can keep tracks on her so that if we let her go right now, then on the basis that we have her sons and her money and she'll only be receiving allowance while she behaves herself, <laughs> that we can track whether she's like getting into any mystery? We need to like pay off one of the guards that I can check in with messages. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. it's getting complicated mm-hmm. again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> become a very 
parental legal team of explorers. <laughs> it's very strange. Okay, okay, okay. We're taking all your money, but we'll leave you. We, of course, we expect that you will still need to run the city, and we will not hmm. compromise. We will not compromise your ability hmm. to continue to run the city. Yeah, I mean, like we want the city to be well. well that's what I think we're doing. But we're, we also we're... want to ensure that you continue not to mess in this hmm. blood war. It's for your own good. Well, you have my word. We're going to be altruistic. We have your word, and now we also have your money. <laughs> you do not need both. <laughs> it was. Maybe that's what we should call. If anyone asks what our group name is, we'll just be like altruistics. <laughs> that's, I feel like that's what our group name is. <clears throat> I just got it. <laughs> enough money that she's still rich but not so much that she feels like she doesn't doesn't need us yep <laughs> so we'll leave, it, we'll leave her with one coffer and that means we've got seven so a quarter of her income one one coffer mm-hmm. and you've got seven is there um, eight coffers is that what you said eight coffers yeah yeah so there's seven is a lot to carry well, we've got the bag the bag, oh. bag may now be full but we're fine. <laughs> Plus, I believe we're halfway through my current house. I don't think I've so, ever filled a bag of holding. That's here's, here's what's in the bag. Here's what's in the coffers. Um, coffer one contains 30 electrum ingots worth 10 GP each. Hmm. They belong to the Van Thurber family. Uh, coffers two, three, and four each contain 100 gold. Um, coffer five contains two pieces of a broken ceremonial dagger. A curved ivory blade bearing the draconic runes that spell out. Does anyone speak draconic? I speak, I speak draconic. Fang. Fang. Mm. Um, along with a bone hilt wrapped in leather straps and studded with gemstones, but it is broken. Okay. I feel like we should definitely confiscate that. Yeah, we'll just leave a copper two so far because that's just a hundred gold. Everything else. So well, so was, it, was it two, two three, four? Two, that was hundred GP. Four. They were yep. just hundred. Well, I think we should probably leave her maybe the first one as well. I want her to feel like she's still a rich, powerful person, but also that she'll only remain that way so long as she continues doing what we need. Mm. So we can't leave her destitute because yeah. then she'll have a it's axe just gonna go, to grind with us. And it's just going to go, the city's just going to go mayhem, which is not what we want anyway. Well, yeah, and we want her to still feel powerful enough that she doesn't want to stir up more shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she does achieve her goal of being the, uh, the high duke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, shall we leave with at least the first chest with all the really expensive gold ingots? Ingots. In- Electrum. 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 Ingots. All right. Yes. It's and a broken, broken dagger of fang. But broken how much dagger. Is it worth with Cop- this encrusted thing of Um, it's broken at the moment. So at the moment, it's not really worth anything. Or, or you know. It, oh come on! We can raging bullet and take all the gemstones out. Can I do a religion check mm-hmm. on that? Yeah. A religion check. On the dagger. On the dagger. If, if it's a safe person, it's not. Kind of religious, yeah, it's seven. <laughs> a seven, okay. Um, no, Love you don't, don't do that. Um, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but a, uh, a mending cantrip would fix it. Oh. I don't have what do I have mending? I, I have if you have that. Uh, I do not. I, took, I think I took mage yes. hand instead. Uh, oh, I no, 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 look, yes, no. back to the time I have mending. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Um, worth 250 gold mm-hmm. mended. So, wait, what do we have? We have one with the ingots. Three with a hundred GP each. One with a One broken with the dagger. dagger. What else was in the? Coffers six and seven uh, each contain a hundred platinum pieces. Mm-hmm. So that's what five hundred. So you're going to take away the platinum and give her the electrum? I was going to say give her some of the. I would. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a sense of the economy in this space. Yeah. I want to give her enough money. She still feels like a rich, powerful yeah. person. And coffer eight. Coffer eight contains twenty azurite gemstones worth ten GP. Okay. Um, so if we leave her the Electrum, um, that was 300 gold. Um, we can leave mm, her... 3,000 gold. Oh, that was... was 3, no, 300. Oh, 300. Yes, yeah, so it was 30 of them at 10 apiece. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and coffers 2 and 3, that leaves okay. her with 500 gold. Mm-hmm. That's an exquisite sum of money. Yep. We can take a lot of rest. Well, then we're going to... Yeah, okay. Is well, that enough platinum, money? Is it, is it 10? Is that 10 enough money for her to feel rich piece? still? Wait, why don't we just ask her? prefer all of it. <laughs> I think she How would. much does it cost to run the country? The city. Yeah. How much will you need for a month? It is a never... Summon the royal accountant. <laughs> <laughs> it is a pit that you can pour money into forever. Um, all of those all of those things, except for coffer 8 and coffer 5, uh, is money that I have gained through my businesses. 
We're not saying that you won't get it back. We're just making sure that you're going to behave yourself. Um, You'll get it back eventually, but you just have to make sure that you're not... I need to... So, yeah, she goes through that. She goes, leave me coffers one, two, three, and four. Okay. Easy. Apparently electrums are worth five silver pieces, according to... Anyway, whatever. But these are electrum ingots. Oh, right. Yeah. Worth yeah. Big oh, right, right, right. So platinum is worth 10 GP. So oh, this is a thousand yeah. gold yeah. per a thing. Mm-hmm. So there was that she was saying that she needs between one to three? Or was it one to four? One to four. She said one, one to four, four, but I kind of want to dial back to one to three. That sounds pretty good. Mm. I think it's good. Should I just open up my bag of holding and just wait until people start playing something? Yeah. Okay. okay, so well, we take the two, oh, we we take the two again. with the platinum, we take the um, dagger and the gemstones, the gemstones mm-hmm. and then we're going to leave her with the electrums and all of the gold ones. Yep. Um, and we'll say, you know, we're going to safe keep this mm-hmm. and we will be returning it to you as needed. Right. So long as you demonstrate that you're not continuing to push this because the, plat- the platinum pieces are worth a, hell, a lot more and also that pieces. we're not we're yes. not getting into any harm too so it's also for our safety mm-hmm. with the movement around the city yep. yeah if you and have any control. reason to believe that you have gone back on your word then you will not be seeing this again all right so does mending <laughs> fix the dagger no? it does it does mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. mending's pretty powerful it's, it's a pretty yeah. interesting spell as a cantrip as a yeah. cantrip mm-hmm. you know i mean yeah. if you've got a a horde of goblins that are breaking in a door, you can just keep casting mending on the door. Well, I feel like we no longer have to carry the Duke around with us, which is nice, but what do we do with, was it Thaddeus? Raya, Raya takes you aside and out of the earshot of, of those two and says, I think um, we need to leave Baldur's Gate. I have a, I did my uh, internship at a place called Candlekeep. That's so cute. <laughs> How old are you again? <laughs> so you're just like a teenager. But you're two years <laughs> younger than you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I started um, singing Baby Keep a Light On for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she says, I did my, my, my study at a place called Candlekeep. It is a place of great knowledge. Hmm. And um, uh, I, I believe they would be able to tell us more about this shield. Okay. Um, I want to search the room for any kinds of books or tomes. I want to shake down Fabius for any journals and logbooks. This is a really... Why? That, I, I'm, I'm absolutely going to sure. go there yeah. with you. But... Um, because he has been working on this for a while, and I want to see if he's externalized any of his notes and thoughts on it, because I want to take all of them with us. Yes. And he's a liar, and he said he didn't have any. Yeah. Like, if we're going to a place of magical study and research, I want to bring all of what's been done already. So is this a bean stuff, situation, Derek? What no, have I done? It, it's, <laughs> not, it's not a bean situation, but it's oh just, it's very interesting. Okay, so um, you so he does give you um, he does give you a book called Apocalypto. Mm. Um, <laughs> that, Nope. And then the music chimes in. The music is... The timing on that there, uh... It is not suspicious at all. It's the sewer don't, choir. Don't. Disregard. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, he gives you the book Apocalypto. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, um, yes. Um, huh? that, that's what he's been, been using. Okay. And every time you open it in your inventory, it makes that noise. Oh, it, it has to now. By <laughs> time. I kind of want to gently thumb through it and just see if it's notes of his or if this is a tome he's borrowed from elsewhere, just to get a sense of it. Um, so it's a it's a prophetic prophecy by an unknown author okay. envisioning the end of the multiverse. Oh, sweet! <laughs> what language is it in? Oh, sweet! It's oh. it's in common. Okay, great, cool. Um, I found this book. Spell some really weird stuff. We should check it out soon. Yeah. Um, but maybe we're done with that. What's the prophecy saying? Bond strokes. Do we know? Um, yes, involves um, the the uh, sun growing to such a size that it will envelop the the planet. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. We all live with that every day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, a bit too close to home. Also, I have this shield. What's the shield I now have? All right. <laughs> I've got loot! <laughs> the shield of the Hidden Lord is... Um, Ooh, manage equipment. <laughs> <laughs> 
Plus two bonus to armor class. Oh, well, yeah, I need that. And resistance to fire damage. Okay. Um, uh, do you need to... Oh, um, my apologies. It does require you to attune it. Yeah, so, so it, it will some require time. you to okay. sit down and... Have a nice chat. Um, can somebody look up what attunement, Speak how long attunement takes? It's almost like an hour, isn't it? I think it is an hour. I think it's mm. a short rest and you can kind of... Yeah. Okay, well, I have it on and I'm... Does that mean I need to equip it while I'm attuning to it and I just can't use it? Or I think you just need to concentrate on it. You can't You can't use it. Check you, it out. You, you need to sort of sit down with like it hanging out. and become yeah. one with the shield. So we need a short rest sometime soon? Yeah, mm -hmm. at okay. some point, yeah. Okay. But or, I don't think you gain the benefits of a short rest if you're attuning something to it. So. so at some point I need to attune to this thing in the meantime it's in my inventory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything else we want to do down here, or would we need to go up to the mansion before what we start? Well, we had the passage to the north, um, and we had a passage the to the east. Hidden wall. The That's true. Yep. There's no other exits from this room? Uh, don't, yeah. Okay. Don't, don't look over the GMs. <laughs> oh, no, I just need to just find the name of the shield. The so shield yeah. of the hidden lord. Okay, well, when I'm attuned, I'll add it to my inventory. Yep. Okay. Um, so we've got the, the north passage. Okay. So I guess at this point we want to leave Thavius where he is. So Thavius will take the shield, we'll make sure that everything works out. We're, as extant beings inside the city, we're invested in it being okay, so you can trust us with this. Alright, All right. thank you. She does not look like she trusts you, but um, she, she offers no argument. Okay, moving but on. Let's keep exploring. Well, what are we going to do with... No, so we've been suggested that we leave Baldur's Gate, but do we want to continue in this dungeon first? And also, what are we going to do with... Is it Thaddeus? Thaddeus? Thaddeus, so, well, we're... So Thaddeus, I, I feel like I just said, like, you be oh, here, we'll sorry, go sorry. away. Um, sure. And we've still got the Duke, which we'll just, like, wander around. But, like, we'd love to explore the the rest of the cavern, I think it is. Would you oh. mind giving us a tour of your lovely dungeon? Mm. She, she says, I... Um, I suggest uh, you leave now. There is there is nothing else here. You have okay. plundered my my wealth. You have defiled my home. Well, we you haven't have been to your home yet. Yeah, we haven't gone to that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. Oh no! This is, yeah. um, all all that is here is death, and I will ensure that you have it if you stay here further. <clears throat> Okay, well, we need to go and sort yeah. out our money somewhere mm -hmm. so that we can make sure we it's safe. All right. And then we need to get out of Baldur's Gate. Sounds or good. I can give us an hour. What? Fingers cracking. <laughs> if I cast sleep on Thaddeus <laughs> and the Duke. I think that's a good idea. We'll just put them together. Mm. Cast sleep on them while we get out of here. Mm. Is that what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we've got an hour. We don't have to get out of here. We can... Well, I think I think I think we're done in the dungeons. We've found everything that's here. Mm. Well, we found the magic item. We found Thavius. Also, we found the loot. There's nothing. There's nothing we really need upstairs. In the yeah. House. The only thing that my question is is that if we need to be able to kind of get money to the Duke as she needs it to keep her in line, then we need someone to sort that out for us. Is Raya? <laughs> Raya she come burns enough? through. <laughs> we're gonna go to the bank. One hundred GP. <laughs> <laughs> that quickly, then <laughs> she's <laughs> mismanaging her funds. She's got more than that. She's got six hundred. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. If she burns through six hundred GP. Then we don't know how long we'll be gone. Yeah, fine. She we know some. Nice. Anyway, we'll be fine. We'll go to the bank teller and <laughs> and then we write up a contract. In this city, don't we? <laughs> I think you know, having been the heroes of collapsing a quarter of it, I don't know that we'll. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Such heroes. But yeah, we're but we're sea but we're sea bound. We're not land bound. True. 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 That's true. We are becoming pirates now, right? <laughs> this well, many options there was a very leaky ship, so... Uh. Mm. Okay, yeah. let's get out of Bob's Gate. Should we go cast cast sleep? Let's cast sleep on them just to give ourselves an hour of sure. advantage of getting the hell out of here. And then right. we can... Done. Now that we've thieved our way through here. Do we and know... And Do we know how to get to... El Terrell? Like, do we know whether we need to get... Oh, right. so, we're gonna go so we're not going to Castle Keep? We're not going to El Terrell. We're going to Candle Keep. Candle Keep. Candle Keep. Candle Keep. So that's... How long would that take us to get there? Do we know? Um, Ray, I suppose? Let's see. Um, Since you said it in the hearing of her. Um, doesn't say how long it takes. It takes a day and a half to get to go. Okay. Should we go get some horses? Yes. 
or we can go for a walk. Okay, we exit the dungeons. All right. <laughs> you leave we the same way you... leave them sleeked and tied up and they can sort themselves out later. Well, you, you do need to roll to see how many oh, yeah, points you yeah, yeah, it says they only... Don't they asleep for a minute? Yes. Yes, it's not good. Well, I mean, it's a minute that we can like, speed walk out of there. Mm. Oh, unless you don't well, want we to. We can just bar the sleep. door, which will give us more than a minute. Okay, fine. Let's the tie the them up, bar the door, and walk the hell I out thought, of I was thinking <laughs> magical sleep as in they sleep until, you know, until a word about true love's kiss, but oh, yeah, no, yeah. apparently not. Um, okay. A minute is a long time in battle, but yeah. True, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, a cow and Okay, so ones. we bar the door behind us as well yep. as we can. Okay. Leave them in there. Give them, say, count to a hundred. <laughs> Your eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> no peeking! <laughs> yeah. Um... And then we I have, I, exit the way. I find you to your honor system. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Um, I take the key and lock the door behind us. Oh, yeah. That's okay, true. but they do have to be able to get out. The door. So as to manage the city. Yeah. So well, yeah, I'm sure someone will come looking, but we'll lock the door, and then they'll have to spend time getting through the door. Okay. Uh, the, the door can be opened from the inside, but you can um, you can disable that. You can right, jam, yeah, yeah, jam the lock and, and, yeah. and then, yeah. yeah. And, and then, then leave the key out the front. That's it. That's <laughs> just before the door. Yeah. What about the other key? Um, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take the second key. Yeah, take the second key. Leave right. the key that's to this place. And... The other, the other thing is, um, sleep. Refresh my memory. Only does five d eight hit points. Oh, well, he's uh, not using not it. Not when I cast it as a one. second level or higher. What is it? Seventy eight. Seventy eight. But we're not using. It still it. wouldn't get both of them. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm also not using it because it only leaves them for a minute, and it's kind of yeah. like yeah, it's not, not that much, not much of an advantage. So jam the door from the opening mechanism from the inside. Mm-hmm. Lock them in there. Leave the keys out. The, the key that opens the door out the front in a prominent, visible position. Mm-hmm. Take the key that we already have. Leave the way we entered in our cloaks, and regroup in the city to decide how we're getting to Candlekeep. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Done. Done. So <laughs> That's that why we follow you. Yeah. yeah. Hungry Griffin. Hungry Griffin. The hungry Griffin. Yeah. Hungry Griffin. Hungry Griffin. Um, we should probably check in with our commander, to whom we are deputized. Yes. I bring out my shining blue badge. Like maybe we should say hi. Let them know where we're off to. Well, it sounds like we need to do a few chores to get ourselves ready for a travel to Candlekeep. Yes, yeah, so we, we should take your bag and go shopping. Mm, always. Mm. Well, maybe maybe <laughs> we get one of the boys from from the Hungry Griffin to every now and then That's... run up with funds. Well, oh yes, I think, <laughs> do that. I think we do need like someone we trust. We were working with the pirates before. Maybe we can trust the pirates. <laughs> trust them. Like, but what else about... we were working with? I'm just trying to remember what names we have in this city well, of someone who we could possibly go. I've always got message. So if we have a contact, a contact, and I message the oh, yeah, person, no. and we message the bank teller, then we can arrange mm. it that okay, way. Okay, so let's just put a bunch of money out. in the bank, and we'll sort out how to get it to her as we need to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll, we'll think of the conditions after our short break. Mm-hmm. Um, and you are, maybe you said you wanted to visit the captain, Captain Zodge? Yeah. yeah. All right. Report back. Report back to him. Um, I'm going to spend the time that other people are doing chores of tuning to my shield. Mm-hmm. Okay, fair enough. And you're going back to use the Hungry Griffin as your base? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we'll find out what happens after the break. Thank Ooh. you very much. Ooh.